Hey guys, I know that spring is chasing away winter many places in the world, but here in Norway the winter still has a good hold on us. This week I wanted to do a creative elemental makeup look. And because I got inspired by how beautiful it is when the sun shines on clean white snow, I choose the element water and I created a snow queen. This makeup look is also my entry to the Nordic Face Awards. I'm really nervous so I would appreciate you sending me some good wipes. But now let's look at how I transformed myself into a ice queen. I started out with my dress painting it light blue with the Grimace aquacolor. I'm so sorry that you won't be able to watch the whole process. I'm filming with my iPhone and it got overheated and a lot of my files got corrupt and not usable. Also I experimented with a new camera setting and as you can see I failed to capture all my workspace. But I hope you still will enjoy this video. After I painted the dress light blue, I used Krylon Aquacolor in the color blue to outline the dress and make some stitching. My inspiration for this dress came from the early Victorian fashion. The skin of my queen needs to look like the sun sparkling snow, therefore I'm using a white glitter cream that I use my fingers to blend into my skin. NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette Ombre has a blue shade that is perfect to give this queen a sharp edgy contour. This palette is one of my favorite palettes and if you have followed me for a while you may have noticed me using it on almost all my characters. I'm also using the blue shade from the Umbra palette to contour my nose. I wanted my eyebrows to look like the source of frost that grows outwards. To achieve this in an easy and not too time consuming way, I used a blue eyeliner and made a lot of marks, pointing upwards. I love this Me Now Perfect Eye and Lip Liner because it's very soft and gives an even result. But a note to self for next time, I should perhaps put this pencil into my freezer for a few minutes before use, or use another brand with a harder pencil to achieve a cleaner result. Before I start to make more frost pattern on my body, I use the NYX blue shade to make the nose more marked. To make the queen's skin look not only sparkly, but also very cold and icy, I use blue Krylon aquacolor to paint ice cracks on my fingers, arms and breast, allowing the cracks to stretch up the neck. I know this choice is a little risky because I don't want her to look scary my goal is to make her look mighty and there is a fine balance between scary and mighty that it's easy to end up in either direction. Also to make uh, the ice queen look even more chilly I decided to contour her neck and collarbone. I must admit I really like how it turned out. To sharpen up the eyebrows I use Makeup Forever white single eyeshadow and I'm also layering the blue NYX shadow on my eyelids and crease. So far I have only used the colors white and blue, so I add a little purple from the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette Ombre to give the eyes a little hint of color and therefore also making them more dramatic. On the inner parts of my eyelid I use Krylon Silver Aqua Paint. To match my face to my body I use the glitter cream on my cheeks, nose and forehead, blending it into my natural skin with my fingers. To finish off the look I use a white um, Krylon Mascara on my lashes and the NYX Cos Cosmic Metal Lip Cream on my lips. If you want to see how I made the crown and the fingernails, check out my previous video. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy it and perhaps you got some new inspiration. See you in my next video, until then keep getting inspired and be creative.